You ready? Yep. Here we go. My name's Chris Joslin. I'm the Executive Director of the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum here in Owensboro, Kentucky. My name is Randy Lanham. I'm the Education Director at the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum. This new Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum here in Owensboro has been a long time coming. I think it's one of those things where you don't just come and observe, but you engage, you become a participant. Father of Bluegrass was Bill Monroe, and yeah, he really did create the sound by hiring musicians that were great to make his music stand apart, like Earl Scruggs on the banjo. But I think when Bill Monroe came along in the 30s and the 40s, he started hearing a different way to put this music together. Part of that hinged on how those instruments are played and how they're used in an ensemble. He grew up playing at square dances, you know, so so he didn't do a lot of slow music. It was always fast. It was like a country on steroids, you know. It was always really high pitched, just to, to stand out and be something different. There are people who play bluegrass music all over the world, but nobody debates the fact that it's uniquely Kentucky. I mean, bluegrass gets its name from the bluegrass state. Bluegrass music is truly unique to Kentucky in this area of Kentucky. Owensboro, Rosine, you know, Bill Monroe was born and raised right here in this area. We have all these people coming in from out of town getting to experience this, the shows, the hands-on playing, and this is one of the most popular places in the museum. Just about any time I walk back and look through these windows and see somebody pulling one of these instruments off the wall, just picking and grinning. I think this place is important because bluegrass deserves a home, just like country music, just like rock and roll. I think bluegrass music is an important genre of American music. This facility is amazing. I mean, I cannot believe the space that we have now. We're able to accommodate so many more students now. We here at the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum want to keep this tradition alive. Someone was not teaching it, it very easily could kind of die away. I almost feel like God gave me this gift of music not only to play, but to teach as well. And Granddad has always told me, pass this music down. Keep it alive, Randy. Here in the modern age, we've got a whole new generation of artists who are discovering this music and are coming up in this music. And their abilities and their creativity are just like off the charts. I think bluegrass music is in good hands.